Alright, welcome to video number two. This is where we're going to learn about making the game a little bit more unique by giving the game some scripts. Um, first of all, you should uh, have got this little guy organized, so he's a, 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 got a few platforms that he can run across. Um, but uh, there's one thing that we want to do just before we move on, and that's just get this, uh, get this screen so that it fits a bit better. So you can see, if I click on the grey area over here, you can see that it gives me the properties about the, the layout size. Um, the, the screen itself, uh, we can find out the size of that by clicking on project properties. So if you view the project properties, you'll see that the window size, that's the, the grey dots, um, the, the size that the, the screen most the, the bits that you'll see are 854 by 480. So what I'm going to do is just real simple. I'm just going to click again on the grey area and change the layout size to the same as the window size. So it was 854, and I can just type that straight in um, by 48 with a comma, sorry, and then 480 and press enter. And you'll see that it now fits um, exactly the same size. So there's no extra spaces, and that just keeps it simple. Um, so Next step, once you've done that, is um, we we need the game to restart if you if you um, if you die or something or if you fall off. Um, let's start with the falling off. So if I if I was to play this right now and um, uh, grab my window, bring it over here. If I was to play this right now and I see this guy, I can move him right and left, and I can fall off. Um, and the game doesn't restart. Nothing happens. So this is uh, what I'm going to do is just introduce the uh, concept of events. Um, the way Construct2 works is, if you can, you can see up here we have uh, this layout, we've also got an event sheet. Um, that event sheet you can see over on the right hand side we've got a layouts folder with layout1 and an event sheets folder with event sheet1 and usually they're, they're linked. If you're not sure you can click on layout1 and you'll see what event sheet is linked to it. Um, so the event sheet right here that we see, um, you can read all this information if you want, but basically Construct2 works by uh, events that are triggered by certain things like keyboard inputs or um, collisions between things. Um, it's quite a common um, thing to do and you'll get quite used to them as you see them. So you, you create the event and then you, you um, hook an action into that event. So let's just do our first one. If you click Add Event, um, the way this works is it's the event acts on a certain object, so we've only got a platform on the on the uh, scene, and we've only got this uh, player sprite. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the player sprite and then click next. So here's here's all the events that are associated with that player sprite. Um, you could search up here if you know exactly what you're looking for. You can just look down and find the one. So I'm looking for something that looks like um, when it's left the 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 play area or something like that is, would be quite handy. So um, looking around um, is on screen is outside layout. There it is. So if the um, if the player is outside the layout, this event will be triggered. So I'm just going to double click that and it comes up. So right now there's the event, but there's no action, there's no current action. So I'm going to click on add action for when this event fires, any action and any number of actions that I add here will end up being uh, being done. So I'm going to click add action and I'm going to think about where it might be. So I want the actual game to restart, so it's probably not the sprite that does that, it's probably the system. So if I click on system and then I'll have a little look around. So I'm looking for a restart layout one and uh, it happens to be in the general, so it's called restart layout. Let's click done. So there's the action, sorry the action, and there's the event. So this event triggers this action. And I could put another action here if I wanted to, but right now that's all I want. So let's go back to the uh, layout and just run this again and find my Chrome and we'll test this to see that it works. So I'm just going to move the guy and make him fall off and he starts exactly where he started before. So it actually just restarts the layout. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you, it just does it. Um, let's build on that a little bit now that we know how that works. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a bad guy. Um, so we're going to have something that we have to avoid. So obviously not falling off is one thing, but let's make something we have to avoid so we can go through the process again. So I just double clicked um, to insert a new object, click on sprite, click insert and put down a little red spiky thing right here. So I'm just going to pick the line drawing tool, which is this one here, and I'm just going to draw up the way and then down the way 
and then I'm going to pick the paint pot and click there. Oh, that didn't go so well. Let's do Control Z to undo that. I think I didn't quite get this line um, line drawing tool. Didn't quite go all the way to the bottom. So let's try that again. Click Paint Paint Pot. So I've filled this up with red. So this is a little red spike. Once again, crop to make sure that it fits approximately what you're after, and then close. Um, the spike's way too big, so I'm going to shrink it right down. I'm going to put it there and put it right in front. So right now, um, absolutely nothing would happen if I ran into that sprite. So if I do actually run this and you see in the game you've got this little sprite here, I could go straight through it and nothing happens. But what we've got here is an actual event again. We've got an event where the blue sprite touches the red sprite and it collides with the red sprite. So we're going to have to hook into that to make something happen. So I'm just going to go up to the event sheet to do that. I'm going to click a new event. I can't use that one. It's the wrong one. So I'm going to click a new event. I'm going to use add event. I'm going to say when this sprite, the player sprite, the little blue one, collides with another object. And you can see that there's an on collision with another object event down here. And this is one of the most common ones. You just click next and you choose which object that you want to test collisions with. So you click to choose the red sprite the bad guy sprite and we're going to click done. So here's my event, so the player sprite on collision with the red sprite. Um, what's the action I want to do? Well I actually want to do the same thing as this. I want to find the system and then just do restart level. Um, so for now I'm not going to use lives or anything, I'm just going to say system restart level, restart layout. Um, so this event gets triggered when this so this action gets triggered when this event happens. So um, let's test that. Let's click on play and just make sure that it actually works. Find my Chrome. Here it is. So I've got this little guy. He bumps into the red thing and the level starts again. So now I've got things that I have to dodge so that I can get to the end of my level. So again, to duplicate them, um, you just hold control and just drag them off. I'm going to put another one over here and another one there and one last one over here. Well, let's put it in the middle, give me a place to land. Alright, um, I'm going to continue on for a second or two. I'm just going to do another little um, thing. So we're going to do something really simple. Um, I'm just going to introduce you to the concept of adding layout. So we're, go we're going to have a an actual win. Um, we're going to have a win condition. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make another sprite. Um, this time it's let's imagine that it's a, this sprite is going to be a door. So I'm adding another sprite. I'm going to make this one sort of like a, a dark browny sort of colour get a bit darker and there's the rectangle tool so here's my awesome door I'm just gonna have a black door handle just right here there you go so that looks exactly like a door I'm gonna remember to crop this close it and make it quite a bit smaller so rather than me um, stuff about for ages testing whether this works or not and have to go through the level the whole time it's a lot more efficient if I just put the player where <laughs> I want them to be so I can test the uh, behavior of this so that I know that it works and um, what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually jump to a new level so we're going to look for a collision between these two just like we did with the with the, um, the pointy things um, but instead of restarting the level, we're going to jump to a new layout. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need a new layout. So if we look over in this layout, this is how we add a new layout. So we've got layouts over here. If we right click on the folder of layouts, we can add a layout. Click add layout. Um, it asks us do we want another event sheet. And we, yes we do, we probably don't want the same events in the new layout as we as we do in the, the old one. So let's add our own event sheet for that one. So now we've got this this blank um, uh, scene that we've we've got here. Um, we've uh, highlighted over here it's called layout 2 and we can see we've got event sheet 2. So I'm just going to press enter for that. So it's called layout 2. We've got event sheet 2 as well. Event sheet 2 doesn't come up by default so you can double click it if you need it for event sheet 2. Um, here's layout 2. Um, just so I know that it is layout 2, I'm just going to double click on it again and I'm just going to put in some text. Um, text is literally just text. I can click there and type whatever I want into that text. So um, the text um, is over here and just like all things, the properties is over here for what it is. And the text property has a property of text 
and currently it says text, but let's change that to um, you win. Um, and you'll see when I press enter it shows up up here and it should show about the middle of the screen. Um, so that's layout 2. If I double click layout 1 we'll go back to this one, double click layout 2 we can go back to this one to see it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually go to layout 2. So if you haven't worked it out already, um, in our event sheet for layout 1 we're going to test for a collision. Um, I had an event for a sprite, the player sprite on collision with another object and we're going to choose this time the door. Um, and click done. The action that we want this time is another system action because we're going to be jumping levels or whatever, it's not anything to do with these things. We're going to click on system and we're going to go to go to layout. Uh, if I double click this I'll see which layout and the drop down allows me to choose layout number two and click done. So um, we have nearly a functional platformer so if I test this and find my chrome again, you'll see that I'm able to walk this guy up to the door and it jumps to my win level. Um, so that's nearly all the function that you need. So making the level fun is your job now. Um, these things can be moved around, obviously the door can be put at the end, you can have multiple platforms and you can try looking at some of the other um, actions and behaviours. Maybe as a challenge you could see if you can get moving platforms um, by adding some type of movement behaviour to them to see if it works. Um, one last thing before I sign off with the basic tutorial, um, if you want to rename these sprites so they're easier to find, um, just click on them and you can see the properties on the left. This one's called sprite but it might be better if it was called player. Um, just by changing it, it, you'll see that it changes everywhere else, so it also changes within all of the events and at any other time that it's, it's highlighted. So um, you're not going to break it by changing the names after you've got them in. Um, and that's us for um, the last tutorial.